Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And today's topic is how we can embed a meeting using shortcode and show it off in our front end. So let's get started by creating a meeting first. First, let's select Zoom from left hand sidebar, then click on Add New Meeting. As we have already shown you how to add a meeting from WordPress backend. So I'm not going to go ahead and explain this field in detail, but instead I'll give you a brief explanation. So first we have our meeting title. Then we have our meeting description. Let's give it a short description here. So then we have to select our meeting host. Our start date. Our start time. Our standard meeting duration. Here we have our meeting password. I'm leaving this bank as it's going to generate a password automatically. We have our standard meeting settings such as registration, join before host, participant video. I'm not going to go ahead and alter any of those, but feel free to do so. So let's go ahead and publish this meeting. So we have our meeting published. So if you look at the bottom, we can see there's a section called shortcode. And if we click over here, it said copy to clipboard. So what it means, we have successfully copied the shortcode to our clipboard. And it's ready to be pasted anywhere. Now let's go ahead and create a page. And in a bit, I will explain what is the benefit of like embedding this meeting into your WordPress side or page. Uh, so please bear with me. So let's add a title for our page. Let me switch to code editor and paste our shortcode. Then I'm going to go ahead and publish this page. So here we have our page published. If we go ahead and open this page and new tab. So here we have our meeting details page we have just created using our shortcode. So this is how you embed our meeting details into a page. And if we look closely over here, we have our countdown to our meeting when it happens, our host details, our date and time, our time zone and our duration. So let me go ahead and show you a demo till what extent we can embed a meeting into our website using like just a single shortcode. So if I go ahead and click the start meeting button, what it will do, it will open a new link in a new tab asking to open Zoom meeting app. If I approve it, what it's gonna do is gonna load my Zoom app to start this particular meeting. So let's wait a while while it loads. So now as you can see, I'm hosting this meeting with my Zoom app and let's go ahead and close this tab so to simulate multiple user scenario i'm gonna go ahead and open this link the join meeting via browser on a new tab and if i type my name here as an alias and click on join and here we see a notification asking to admit the user if I click admit the user there and here we have an upcoming stream of the meeting in the browser itself. It's totally embedded, no app required to join the meeting. So this is a pretty much replica of the Zoom's app in the browser itself. So you can actually interact with it. You can interact with the members, other chat with them, share your screen, mute yourself, and do pretty much everything you, what you can actually do with a Zoom app, but without leaving the website. This is like a pretty useful feature in my opinion. Like you can use total Zoom's functionality without even leaving the browser and without even opening Zoom app. So you might ask, why did I open the Zoom app in the first place, like few minutes ago in this video? So the answer is actually, I had to start the meeting first as a host to be able to attend the meeting as an attendee using the join meeting via browser link, right? So that's why I used my Zoom app to start the meeting. 
then I showed you a demo how you can join the meeting via browser link and have an embedded stream inside the browser within the website for a full featured Zoom experience. So that's pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you have any kind of question, uh, queries, feel free to ask in the comments. We will try our best to answer for you. If you have suggestions, feel free to share them with us. We will try to improve on those. And if you like this video, please drop a like. If you don't, that's all right. We will try to make a better video next time. And by the way, if you are enjoying this kind of straight to the content guides and walkthroughs, a sub to the channel would be amazing. And being that said, I'm signing off and see you in the next video.